are metrics really? And I'm inviting you to talk to an old guy, you know, from psychology, but he was a smart one. And basically, metrics are questions. Now, they are not simply any questions. And metrics are also not the same as measures. And we talk about them a little bit, you know, we we exchange a little bit and use one for the other. But it is an important distinction. And it's really nice because Sanali gave us an, an example earlier. Um, so the metrics are the questions worth answering. So you can ask a lot of questions. Not all of them are that important. Now, measures also are some questions, but they are the, the stuff that you do to get an answer that most important one. So if I just ask about my weight, well, you know, I'm actually trying to gain weight because I'm doing, you know, a bunch, I'm, I'm pulling weights, I'm, you know, doing pumping iron, I'm going to go like getting really, really fit. And a good thing is actually gaining weight, but it can also gain weight just by eating a lot. So that is not the type of question that alone on its own, give me something. But when I ask about, am I getting healthier? I go in and look for a palette of things that would help me answer that. So that's also another interesting thing about metrics. They usually aren't answered with one simple way. You actually go answering them about, you know, you have several ways to go answering them. And what makes the metrics that really matter matter are these two things. They will invite you to take some sort of action. Do more of this. Do less of that. It is really that simple. And the measures that you collect to help answer that metric, also they are in alignment with that thing that you want to improve. So that is really important because just finding something because it's easy to measure doesn't mean that we are on the right track. 